ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Shen Liu from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Uh, I'm from a school of uh, aerospace engineering. Today, my talk, I called the name the your wise choice and your future in aerospace and the mechanicals. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, the, the instructor also introduced myself. Uh, actually, I graduated from Xi'an Jiao Tong University for bachelor and master. I got the, my PhD and the master from National University of Singapore. Actually, I work in the different uh, uh, place in the China, in Singapore, also uh, UK, Max Planck, the Germany, and the other countries. So I also want to share all the school with you. Uh, because actually, in the last uh, 30 years, uh, my students from uh, different countries, I think the more than uh, 20 uh, countries. So in my presentation, I first briefly introduce the Xi'an Jiao Tong University. I think you have uh, uh, see the video, uh, understand some of uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Also, I uh, highlight the School of Aerospace Engineering, also the international impact in the mechanicals. So also know Xi'an Jiao Tong is a uh, History, historical universities. We have uh, uh, established Nanyang Public School, also the initially in the Shanghai, then uh, the move to the Xi'an. In the 2000, Xi'an and the other school merged together. So currently, the Xi'an Jiao Tong University is a very the complex universities. I think, in, you know, in China, we are also the key universities. Also, uh, in 2017, we are the, we call it the double first class universities. Even in the, we also belong to the uh, key, uh, nine key universities in the China 985 projects. This is very important in the in China and even in the world because many universities, may, many the country, they recall the student if they from the C9, the C9 university, they give some uh, credit. In Xi'an Jiao Tong University, currently we have uh, more than 10, uh, 10 science the disciplines. We also have 26 school and uh, 26 school and 12 of little teaching hospitals. We have 27, the first class uh, discipline, uh, 40, Five, second uh, key sub disciplines. Of course, we can call the science, engineering, education, medicine, economy, law, philosophy, arts, management, humanities. Also, we are, we are very strong in the science and the engineering. Currently, I also give the some uh, basic uh, Sector and the statisticals. Currently, in Xi'an Jiao Tong University, we more than the staff 
more than 6,000 stops. And uh, counting the belong, between the belong these are uh, 600 stops, we also have more than 3,000 3, full-time faculty members. Currently, we have uh, 21,000 the undergraduate students and the 26 postgraduate students. Please note, currently we have three more than 3,000 overseas students from different countries. Do you know, they are recently in China just uh, uh, to the uh, last month, last month, we have a launch the Shenzhou 15 and the Shenzhou 14. Do you know in the uh, all the astronomers, we have a uh, three alumni. Is from Xianjiao, these are belong to Xianjiao Tong Universities. So, now I will the, introduce the of the structure of School of Aerospace Engineering. So, Aerospace Engineering, currently we have a two doctor education base. Why the mechanical? Actually, the mechanical C is the earliest the doctor education base. They started in 1981. The other aeronautical and aeronautical science and technology. We also, please, I would like to highlight in here, we have a two national the lab. Why the National Mechanical Experimental Teaching Demonstration Center? These are uh, for teaching. The other one is the Speed K Lab for mechanical structure and the vibration. For this, uh, you know, the, this is uh, uh, very important for National Lab. So in the future, we'll change the name. We call the Hold the key also state of the key lab. We still keep this one. We also have the MOE in key lab. Also, we have an international center for applied mechanics. Belong to this one, we also have two departments. One is the engineer, Department of Engineering Mechanics. The other one is the Department of Aeronautical and Aerospace Engineering. We also have a few six, actually the six in the province level key lab. For example, Shanxi province key lab for aerospace, Shanxi province key lab for NDT. Also, we have a Shanxi uh, Shanxi Joint Research Center for Safety, Nuclear Structure, and the Mechanicals. So we have a very good base. Please know that this uh, national key lab is very, very important because the, they have a, get a very high the, <coughs> support from national level. Currently in Xianjiao Tong University, we have uh, six uh, state key lab. Or five, the older one, this is new, this year just like a new one. So currently in the aerospace engineering, we have total student more than 1,000, 1,000. Actually, we are the postgraduate student is uh, about the 1.0, the roughly the same. Also, we currently have uh, more than 20 foreign students. 
So these are uh, generally the, in the school, school of aerospace engineering. You also know, if you uh, were studying work hard in here, you also need the very the faculty member you should know. Actually, in the aerospace engineering, the faculty member is very internationally. We are also diversity. Currently, we have more than 15 full professors and roughly the 50, uh, 15, 50 the associate professors. So currently, we have more than 100 faculty members also include some research staff. All the staff, 100% get the PhD. Most of them from, uh, get the PhD from overseas univers top universities, for example, Harvard University, uh, University of Oxford, Cambridge, Tokyo, John Hopkins, NUS, NTO, and also other countries. We also in here, hide here, because the, the, the mechanicals is very strong in, CND, in, the, in China, Xi'an Jiaotong University. Uh, you from a different country. Maybe in your country, you have no uh, so the mechanical discipline department, for example, the mechanicals, but in China is quite special. So for this one, we are the ranking. Sometimes we ranking number one, but in most ranking, we are in China, we belong to top three. So I think in the last, in the current, uh, the new the ranking, we have uh, uh, also the A, plus, the A belong to the A. So these are uh, also, you know, these are uh, Xi'an Jiaotong University mechanics in the uh, level in China. From here, I also give a uh, uh, impact of a mechanical field. This is a publication I from a web of science. In last uh, in the last five years, the total in the published paper in the mechanical uh, journals. Xi'an Jiaotong University. The first one is the CNRI system. These are uh, belong to the uh, France. Other one is the IIT the system. Uh, this uh, third one is the CS in China. This is called the Academy of We uh, in Chinese we call Zhongguo Ke Yuan. So actually, all university, the mechanics, the ranking for publication in the in the world, we ranking top five. Actually, the uh, other one more is from the system. This means the system belong to the different uh, universities. We also, in the last uh, 30 years, we have is table of uh, is, uh, the educate very famous professors. For example, our distinguished uh, alumni, Professor Hua Yangao, currently is a distinguished professor in Nanyang Technology University. He also is in chief of the MPS. This is a uh, journal in the, the number one in the mechanics. He also the electing of National Academy of Science, National Academy of Engineering in USA. The other professor, Zhang Su, currently is a professor in Harvard University. 
He also National Academy of Science, National Academy of Engineering. We also have a Professor Chen Jingqing, Professor Xiao Yu Luo, and Professor Chen Li. They also from graduate from our mechanics. So currently in the school of aerospace, we have a few research topic. I think if you like, you have uh, enough the, the directions how to you select, for example, mechanics behavior of material and structure, dynamics in the vibration control of complex system, mechanics of smart material and structure control, lightweight structure and the matter field coupling, NDT and the reliability of structure, computational solid and the fluid mechanics, also impact dynamics, of course, aircraft and the space design. Also mechanics of soft material and the machines. We have in here I also show these are uh, the new lab. You from the video you know in I have in Xi'an Tung University. In here this a soft machine lab. These are few years ago. Uh, Professor Zhigang Zhu from Harvard University is we are with us. This is a new lab. This is a soft machine lab. This is a high tech lab. This is we study the frontiers, new soft material, new soft machine for this. So these are all the lab. Of course, we have uh, this. Uh, <coughs> State K lab in the last few years, even the Chinese, the Prime Minister Keqiang Li also visit all the lab and the others. We also have a very, very special the test machine, for example, MTS system. This system, I think, in the Asia is the only one we have. A Two axes for testing system. We also have the impact system. Currently, the the thirty meter high, so they can use can do any even everything for the in current in the industry the impact problem. We also have uh, other the. Uh, different the uh, lab. Also, for example, this uh, you can show this, this uh, soft machine lab. We also have microwave non-construction testing experimental platform. This uh, belong to the Shanxi province center for NDT integration and uh, evaluation. So this one, we also can, can identify any error, any crack in the industry. So very, very important to the lab. We also, this, uh, I say this, uh, we, in, in our lab, we have uh, MTS, material and uh, testing systems. Uh, this are uh, very, uh, also we have this, uh, MTS itself, they can high temperature. This is a bi-axial machine. Also, we have a high temperature and a high frequency for tigre test systems. This, uh, this, uh, fig, uh, this uh, slide show the impact test systems. For example, this uh, one, this, uh, <coughs> This one is the drop test system. Also, we have a 3D Doppler laser vibrators. We also, for students, we have uh, the simulator for virtual design and the virtualization of flight of vehicles. These are six degrees. We also have a test uh, Play the form for dynamics. Of course, 
for the super speed testing system, high speed balance system, all these one we have a uh, very good. These are for the material test system. We also have the other the systems. This one for material test system for smaller one, also for SEM, ATM analysis systems. We also have a high, high performance computing, can do the MECAE simulation. We also have a supercomputer systems. These are for very big uh, structure dynamics. We have uh, the lab, for example, this one. Also, we have rotor dynamic system. This are uh, K vibration analysis system. So for aerodynamics, we also have this one. This, uh, this one more than for the teacher. Except all the very good facility for all the test machine for testing for labor, we also have established three national and international journals because these are Chinese journal for applied mechanics. These are also these are from these are uh, all the established this one. Also, I also uh, in charge two international journal. One is the International Journal of Applied Mechanics. The other one is the International Journal of Computing the Material Science and the Engineering. So instead, we have a more the collaboration with the internationally. For example, in 2016, we have established an international association of applied mechanics. So this association from uh, more than 20 countries from uh, very famous the universities. So also, we also founding the international journal, currently IJEM, the International Journal of Applied Mechanics. These are uh, in perfect is the 3.951, counting in the, the whole 138 uh, mechanical high level STF journal. We are ranking 39. So 10 years ago, we also established or the Center for International Center for Applied Mechanics. So we also have many the uh, inter interchange with a different uh, university, for example, different uh, very famous mechanical paper with uh, professor. They visit us, give a lecture in here. Also, for example, from uh, US, UK, France, and uh, you, <clears throat> Moscow, the, also Russia, and other different uh, countries. So these are, we have a uh, quite, quite uh, long uh, research collaboration. Of course, we also have a uh, collaboration with the uh, uh, National University of Singapore. Also, we have uh, Russia, we also have an uh, international collaboration with the uh, UK Brunel Universities. So we also, a few years ago, we have an uh, uh, education agreement with the US Iowa State University. In this university, we have every year we send the students to US. See, at the same time, the US Iowa State University sent a student to us. We, all students can take the course in there, no need to pay anything. 
these are come China also no need to pay anything. So we recognize the all the work, the also all subjects. So these are one. In the, we also invite many, many very famous the professors visit our school, give us the lecture. In the last 20 years, we also have is organized very famous international national the conference. For example, we also in the we as the chairman also organized many many the very influenced the mechan the mechanic conference. For example, every year we have the frontiers in applied mechanics. These are from uh, Norway. Also, we organize the uh, as a chairman, we organize a very big conference. In some uh, big conference, more than 3,000 attendees. So this also gives us uh, some uh, chance. For example, we organize second internet conference. We also have collaboration, for example, with the Brown University, the AUS, Harvard University, NTO, also Brunei University, University of Glasgow, and the Harvard University, MIT. So I think we have a, we also have, oh, I have said the Iowa State University and the Xi'an Delta University, we have uh, make the agreement this all tuition and the regular, regular fee required for all students are paid by the home institution. Also provide an academic transfer for each student. So these are very, uh, very, very important. I think in the China is the first one for this case. So we also have International Center for Engineering Education. In the last 10 years, we have published very many high quality papers. For example, with a different, they collaborate with a different university. In the last five years, aerospace engineering, the School of Aerospace Engineering, we have published international collaboration paper uh, papers, more than 300. So next, I will uh, also the, I introduce some frontiers in smart material. I think in the next generation, next 10 or 15 years, all the slide, all the life will change. So where the you saw the soft machines, this means in your the tool, you will find like the actually the robot, actually the the humans, the soft machine. So this uh, soft machine is one of the top ten core technology in the next uh, fifteen years. So for this one, we study frontier in smart material. In here, I will uh, introduce soft machine, the, the soft material is the one is the hard job, other is the ship memory polymer. For uh, because you are the new one, they don't know that I agree, briefly introduce this one. This is a polymer and the water, they can become the softer materials. 
This soft material can get to the very good, very big deformation. We call this a smart material. When change the temperature, electrical light, and the pressure, even the chemical, they can change. This are the very small material. For example, this, uh, this material, this material contain very high the water. For example, this uh, can as a uh, other one is application of the uh, SMP, ship memory polymers. This are all the this means, for example, I give the one. This is very complex. Yeah. <clears throat> so this, this is SEAM, this is an International Center for Applied Mechanicals. So we also use this uh, ship memory polymer. We can design different uh, but these different material, different structures. For example, the plane design and the plane manufacture, we can form the very complex 3D structures. For example, when hitting this one, they can automatically become like this. Then the recover to initial case. They also can design very the softer. <clears throat> For example, this is three D. This is a science soft machine lab. We will do this. This is what we call the ship memory polymer. We also, the application, for example, we use a ship memory polymer for the state. So this one, our recent the work, also the, get the support from uh, NSFC, also Royal, Royal Society from London, the UK. This, uh, Use a ship memory polymer way to the state. This is a new generation, the state in the future. This is all design. This means for the because this new material can, for example, this is a process. This are also we have a collaborate with the classical universities, the UK. We do this. So these are all the I briefly introduce all the school. If you have any team, any question, I would like to answer your questions. Uh, welcome, Jiaoyan, Xi'an Yautong University, also School of Aerospace and Engineering. Okay, uh, thank you for thank you, Professor Liu, for this uh, brilliant introductions. And now, before we enter to Q and A section, I would like to share our uh, a mission as well. So now I will share my screen. Good. And we can uh, answer the questions together after uh, my introductions to XATU scholarships. Okay. Okay, so now uh, in this session, uh, I will introduce uh, the detailed introductions of our scholarships and also the application procedures. And uh, as you might know, uh, our university is quite a comprehensive uh, university. So there are many corresponding uh, scholarship system as well. So this covers uh, from bachelor, master's to PhD book program. So if you wish to apply for a bachelor degree, uh, you can apply for our international freshman scholarships. Our financial ads will provide uh, scholarships which can deduct tuition fees 
with different percentage and also there are a monthly living allowance for each. For uh, first price, uh, it exempts from all the tuition fee of first year, and the second price exempt from uh, fifty percent, and the third price exempt from thirty uh, percent. So when it comes to the level of uh, masters and uh, PhD program, we have these uh, four major scholarship programs you can apply on the screen. So the first and the uh, most well-known one, I guess, is our uh, Chinese government scholarship, which is CSC. Uh, we offer both type A and type B for our uh, postgraduate students. And this scholarships, including uh, free tuition fee, uh, free accommodation, comprehensive medical insurance, and also a uh, monthly living allowance. So the uh, stipend for this uh, master's student will get uh, 3,000 RMB per month, and for uh, our PhD student is 3,500 per month. And so I guess this can cover almost every aspect of your life in our university. And the next one is our uh, XJTU Suyuan scholarships. This include uh, free tuition and also uh, monthly living allowance. So for first prize, you will get uh, 4,500 RMB per person for doctoral students and 3,500 for uh, master students. And if you get second prize uh, for our doctor students, you will get 3,000 RMB. And for uh, master students is 2,500. And if you get third prize, you still got uh, 1,700 for uh, both doctor and master students. And the next one is our uh, Xi'an City Government's Belt and Road Scholarships. And this scholarships is jointly funded by our uh, Xi'an Municipal Governments and Xi'an Jiaotong University. So the city government uh, will provide scholarships while the university will cover some of your tuition fees. So this offers, uh, this scholarship offers tuition discounts and also living expenses for uh, 10 months a year. For bachelor, uh, you will get 15,000 per year and for master students, you get 20,000 per year and for PhD, it's 25,000 per year. And the next one is quite special. It is our uh, International Chinese uh, Language Teacher Scholarships, which are only uh, for our Chinese language students, including uh, tuition fee, free accommodation, comprehensive uh, medical insurance, and also monthly living allowances, a bit like uh, the CSC scholarships. So uh, all of the scholarships covers uh, the first year of your degree. Uh, education and the following academic year, you will be uh, comprehensive uh, evaluate according to your academic performance in our university. So uh, let's now move on to the next part. So in this part, I'll briefly walk off you through the requirements and the application documents you will need to prepare for our university application. So now uh, you can all take a look on the screen. These are the requirements for our bachelor programs. So for our applicants, you, you will need to meet the following conditions. So you need to be uh, under 25 years old with valid foreign ordinary passports. And also you should have a high school diploma and certificate of HSK4 because uh, most of our undergraduate programs are taught in Chinese. Uh, however, if you are native speakers, uh, you can also exempt. Uh, you can also be exempt from this corresponding language proficiency certificate after uh, you send it and upload it, being recognized by our university. And uh, so, after you pass our initial review, we will uh, take an interview for our applicants. And this year, uh, application for our bachelor program has already started. So now you can apply uh, on our application system and the <coughs> for this program will be on June 30 uh, next year. And on this page is the requirements for uh, postgraduate applicants. Uh, so the first one is the applicants will need valid ordinary passport as usual. And for our master applicants, you will need to be under 35 years old with your uh, bachelor's degree. 
And for doctoral programs, uh, you need to have a master's degree and also you need to be under 40 years old. And uh, for our potential doctoral applicants, some schools may require the acceptance letter or recommendation letter from your potential supervisor. So you will, uh, so you need to check the this online and also the information of professors to get the contact of them. Okay, and also uh, for your study plan, there are formats that you can download on our website. So. Uh, this year, our application has started as well, so you can now apply for our uh, postgraduate program as well. And also, our university offers foundation programs, so if any of you would like to apply, you can also take a screenshot here. So uh, the eligibility of our foundation program is that you will need to be under 24 years old, <coughs> sorry, with valid ordinary passports, uh, with your high school or uh, senior secondary diploma. And for our uh, foundation program, the language proficiency requirements are on the screen as well. So for uh, 36 weeks, you don't need to upload uh, any proficiency. And for 18 uh, weeks, you should have the level of HSK 2 to 3. And for 11 weeks, you should be uh, at this HSK 4 or above. And in the meantime, we also provide a one plus four foundation program. So if you choose this kind of program, after you finish your course in our foundation uh, program, you can, and also you need to meet all the overall requirements. You can study uh, for our bachelor program directly. Okay, so uh, for the application documents that you will need, we have listed it on this slide. Uh, I'll suggest that if you want to apply for our university, you can now take a screenshot here because uh, this is quite an important part for you during your application process, right? So uh, first of all, as I mentioned, you will need your original highest diploma and also its uh, notarized copies. And for um, prospective diploma winners, you must submit your official certificate from your current university or uh, high school as well. And also you will need the original transcripts in the latest study period. For example, uh, if you are applying for a PhD program, you will need to upload your transcripts of your master's degree. And also you will need your certificate of language proficiency so applicants whose mother tongue is Chinese or English, you are free from above certificate after getting approved from our university. Also, uh, you will need your photocopy of your valid ordinary passport and also completed original physical uh, examination records for foreigners. And also you need to provide your blood test report as well. So some of the documents, for example, for the original physical examinations, they have the required formats. So you will need to download them on our website or otherwise we will send it back to you and ask you to redo it or upload it on the system again. So please don't forget to che check on our website to uh, download all the required documents. And also there might be other documents that we need you to provide. So we might contact you during your review process. And most importantly, applicants should also bear in mind that all the documents, they need to be scanned and uploaded on our system because we do not need hard copies anymore. And also uh, incomplete application will be rejected as well. And uh, notarized Chinese and English versions are required as well. So uh, after you prepare all the documents, application documents that I've mentioned, then you can log into our uh, online application system as you can uh, find the link on the screen. Many people ask uh, where to send my application. Can I send it via email? No, you, you should just find the link and then log into our system. So first, you should register for your application ID and you need to fill in all the required personal information. And also you need to upload the electronic version of the documents. And after you pass uh, our initial review, we will contact you to pay your uh, application fee. So for our uh, self-funded program, the application fee is uh, 500 RMB. 
And if you want to apply for scholarship program, the application fee is 800 RMB, okay? And then uh, after you pay uh, the application fee, you can then just wait and then wait for the follow-up email and interview notice. So uh, if you still feel a little bit confused or the application procedures and the information that I've just mentioned are not clear enough, you can also check uh, most of the information on our website. So we have recently uploaded an online application guides and procedures and also Q&A sections for our international students to follow. As you can see from this slide, uh, our website has included helpful information for our students to find what you need directly. And also you will find our uh, newest 2023 brochure on our website as well. Okay, so uh, this brings me to the end of my introductions of the scholarships and also the application procedures. So again, uh, we sincerely welcome everyone to join Xi'an Jiangtou University next year. And on this slide, uh, you can take a screenshot or uh, this is our contact information. So I will also share, I have also shared it in the chat room. Now you can also scan the QR code on the screen to join our uh, WeChat admission office Q&A group. And our admission officer will answer your questions in the uh, chat room. And also uh, don't forget to follow us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, because uh, recently we have uploaded a lot of posts related to the information on our application and also our campus tour and students experience at XJTU. Okay, so now again, thanks for your participate and uh, we sincerely welcome you next year, especially you can apply for the School of Aerospace and Mechanics. And now I will answer the questions in the chat room. Okay, so uh, I will answer the questions. Uh, I can ask a question. The former, uh, former uh, some students say that he formed a uh, get the bachelor degree from India. Uh, ask uh, when the uh, can the uh, uh, apply the or the must degree. I think it's no problem. You can uh, directly apply the Xi'an Jiaotong University must degrees. So uh, the process to join this university, I have just introduced all the uh, application procedures and I have also sent the uh, following link that you can check the application guides. And uh, I would like to take a mission of MSC, may I get the opportunity and scholarships. So, so everyone, if you want to apply for our university, any programs, you can always uh, feel free to apply now. And also uh, you will get the chance to apply and get the scholarships. I got a question, is that necessary to know Chinese? So uh, to be clear, if you're applying for Chinese tool program, then you will need to know Chinese. But because many of our uh, postgraduate programs are taught in English, so you won't need to submit any proficiency of your Chinese, okay? So it is not necessary to know Chinese if you are uh, choosing to apply for English taught program. Is it important to learn Chinese for getting admission in your university? So if you are applying for for example, our bachelor program, most of them are taught in Chinese, then you need to be uh, qualified for the language proficiency, for example, HSK4. So it's highly for you to get admission in our university. But as I mentioned, if you are applying for English taught program, that it is not necessary for you to learn Chinese. Is it necessary to start in English? So same as the Chinese program. If you are applying for Chinese to program, it's not necessary for you to uh, apply with your English proficiency. So what do you think about getting scholarships? So everyone has chance to get the scholarships. So if you want to apply for Xi'an Jiaotong University, you can just submit your application on our application system, okay? 
So I've also sent our uh, email address on the chat room. If any of you have questions, you can always feel free to contact us via, via email. So uh, how to be eligible in scholarships, uh, as I just introduced in my introduction. Uh, so you need to be, you need to make sure that you are qualified for age. And also uh, if you are applying for a uh, Chinese TOE program, you need to provide some of the language proficiency as well as the English TOE program. How much percentage is required for getting CAC scholarships? So, uh, Normally, it's I will say at seventy percent, but uh, it depends because some of you may may come from a high ranking university, and sometimes it will uh, it will depends on the university and your education background. We will review it based on that. Okay. 还可以申请免费申请费吗? So. 不行，就是所有的申请，无论是自费还是奖学金，都是需要付。uh and which countries are eligible for the scholarships so uh it doesn't mind uh, it doesn't matter what which countries you are from you can always apply for our university scholarships okay okay some of your direct message i have already answered you and uh is there any any other questions? When start the process? Okay, so the acceptance letter from professors are mandatory. So uh, you can check on our brochure. Uh, we written that uh, some uh, schools may not require for a recommendation letter, for example, School of Management, they don't require it, so you need to check your uh, schools on our website that we will return that no on the uh, on the school, so you will know that they don't require it. But most of them require acceptance letter if you are applying for PhD. You will need to contact professor. Uh, hello, sir. I'm students of automotive engineering technology. I want to know which degree is best for MAC in XJT. Okay, so for your questions, uh, how to apply, I have introduced, and the admission process as well. And if you are, uh, you want to know which degree is best for <laughs> best in our university, I will say that all of our programs are the best. And but because you study uh engineering automotive engineering technology, so I would say that you can take a look on the programs that Faculty of Electronic and Information Engineering on uh, the programs that they offer. Okay. Can we use other university recommendation letters for PhD programs? No. Uh do you mean uh if you if if it's the recommendation letters from your current university, then yes. But as I mentioned, some of our uh, PhD program may require that you need to contact professor first because you don't know whether they have space this year to uh, to give you in touch. So you will need to get in touch with your professor first and contact them. So uh, my colleague have also sent our uh, image. You can check it. This is the webinars schedules in the following time. So if you are interested to other schools in our university, you can take a look and make sure that you will be there on time. Can I get Chinese scholarship as a bachelor student? So for our Chinese scholarships uh, program, uh, CSC only offers uh, type A. So you will need to apply to your uh, authorities, okay? From your home country, the dispatching authorities from your home countries. Is it possible to share documents after meeting? Yes, yes. We will share uh, 
we have recorded this meeting. So after this webinar, we will uh, upload it on our YouTube channel and also Facebook channel as well. So you can check the documents and also all the documents of application uh, procedures are on our website as well. So you can always check it. How can we contact supervisor? I've sent uh, several emails, but they are not answering. Uh, for this question, I guess, <laughs> uh, Professor Liu, uh, some of some because our professors are really busy, you know. So some sometime maybe they they haven't checked the email. So maybe you can try to contact them a few times. Uh, I think most of the you select the correct uh, the professor because the research direction is uh, uh, the interest. I think yes. this uh, you if you your your research research direction, for example, you should uh, the carefully check the background with the professors. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And all the uh, professor information, you can also find, find it on the program list that we have uh, shared on our website. So you can check uh, the professor background and also they will, they have shared their contacts as well. So you can uh, try to send uh, emails to them and make sure that you are clear that which kind of uh, research that you are going to focus during your uh, future studies. Uh, can you share the video recording for this? Yes, uh, definitely. We will share it on our uh, YouTube and Facebook channel uh, very soon. So you can just follow us on our social media, okay? Do they require IELTS? Yes, so if you are applying for English TOE program, you will be required for IELTS 6. It would be helpful for us to share all links about scholarship opportunities and application. Yes, uh, we will definitely send you an uh, email so you can always uh, get in touch with us about the scholarship opportunities. And if you have any application questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact us via our email, okay? Okay, so the apply link, apply link. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I uh, asked the one question. One says, I have uh, started a master in aerospace engineering in Pakistan along my job. The problem is my, is I'm uh, restricted to pursue research in structure due to the limitation of university. My interest is toward the corporations. Does Xianjiao Tong have active research in the corporation? Yes. In, in our school, we have the populations. So if you're interested, you can check the web, or which is a professor you do this research direction. You can contact them. Yes, thank you, professor. And uh, can we get fully funded scholarship for master's programs? Yes, we do offer uh, fully funded scholarships. But you should apply first because we will need to review your application. Some of you may get first prize, second prize, or also third prize. So the age limits in bachelor degrees under 25 years old. Can we apply for Chinese language and for PhD program too in same time? No, you should you should. You should only choose one program to apply one time, okay? Which countries are eligible for the scholarships? Uh, all the countries are eligible. Uh, if a person having 3.5 CGP, can he or she get fully funded scholarships? So uh, I can't I can't promise that uh, based on this grade, she will definitely get fully funded scholarships. But I'll say that she have a great chance to uh, receive a scholarship from our university. But whether it's cover uh thirty percent, fifty percent, or one hundred percent, I'm not, I can't promise this here. Okay, because uh, we still need to review other documents that she upload on our system. 
Oh, the group is full. Is there any other group chat? Okay, I will I will make a new group uh, on our web chat now. Can Professor Liu answer the questions now and I'll uh, manage it now. Uh, which, uh, which question you are asking? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, some students say the other than the, the Iowa State Universities, what other overseas universities in the is the Xianjiao Tong University affiliated with? Yes. For example, in aerospace engineering, all the schools. Uh, in the aerospace of engineering, we have uh, many uh, of some affiliation in the universities. For example, uh, Nanyang Technology University of Singapore, National University of Singapore, also Manchester University in UK. <clears throat> also, we have uh, other universities from uh, Russia. So uh, actually, we normally we have uh, about five or six in the one in the one department, one school we have a different university we have a affiliation. We collaborate with the use uh, with the student the exchange, also some uh, co uh, research co research together. So everyone if you interest, you can uh, you can uh, uh, select uh, one. How about the off letter from university? Uh, I think I regard previous the student to ask the uh, not easy find the professor get the uh, letter. So if you write some, you should uh, the detail introduce yourself. Then the, if the professor interested in your, uh, your research, so they can give you the support letter. I think when you introduce yourself, your detail, your background, your school, your also your achievements in your bachelor degree or something. So I I try to the ask some of the does the Xi'an Jiao Tong have a business major in master? Yeah, I think uh, in Xi'an Jiao Tong have a business the major in the master degrees. Uh, if I got uh, uh, okay. if I got the uh, one hundred per scholarship. Uh, can pay the uh, back the hometown the holiday. I'm not sure this. Tan uh, maybe can answer this question. When we pay our tickets for going back yearly holiday tickets. Uh -huh. uh, so currently, if you are applying for uh, our university scholarships, it didn't cover your uh, trip tickets, okay? And now uh, I have shared the screen now for the new admission office Q&A group three. You can now scan the code to enter our uh, WeChat group. And does SJTU have business majors in master? Yes, we do offer business major in master. Uh, how'd you get an uh, offer letter from the university? Uh, do you mean uh, the CSC uh, admission letter, free admission letter? Can I get an offer letter? So uh, many students ask for the, I think you asked for the pre-admission letters, right? So if you want to get for the uh, CSC pre-admission letters, you will still need to pass our academic review first and we will send you the uh, pre-admission letters, okay? 
uh, is it mandatory to have an acceptance status from the university professors for getting CSC? Mm, as I mentioned, if you're applying for PhD programs, uh, some of the schools may ask for the uh, acceptance status. And uh, is it mandatory? I won't say that all, all of them is mandatory, but it, it might give you a higher chance to get CSC because that means that you prepare your all your documents well, right? Can we know the deadline of all these scholarships? Yes. So if you are applying for our uh, postgraduate programs for our university scholarships, deadline is going to be uh, next year, April 15. And the best day for payment is April 18. But if you are applying for CSC, the deadline is uh, February 28 next year, okay? And if it's if you are applying for our undergraduate program, the deadline will be on June 30. So I answer here. Uh, can we upload the form of physical examination, but it's different from the foreign physical form? Mm, if you if you have any reasons that you can't uh, up, upload the correct form of, of our physical examination report, you can first uh, write the comment letters and mention about uh, your uh, your situations. But we will always suggest that you upload the correct form, okay? But you can first upload the current one that you have. Is there any master programs in electrical and electronic engineering in your university? Yes. So for uh, electrical engineering, we do offer electrical engineering in English two programs and master's program. It's two years to study duration. Okay. Does business majors for master needs the acceptance letters from the supervisor? <laughs> Sorry. So for uh, master's programs, if you mean the acceptance letters from our university, it's not it's not always necessary because most of uh, most of the program that requires acceptance letters is because it's PhD, it's doctoral program. But if you can contact a professor and got the acceptance letter, it, it's nice as well. But if you can't find any professor reply to your email, it's fine. You can just upload uh, maybe professor letters, recommendation letters from your current university. First, uh, please, what is the name of the professor who gave the first presentation? Uh, so this is Professor Liu Zishun from the School of uh, Aerospace and Mechanics. Uh, I will take, type his name. Is our uh, professor Liu Zishun. Uh, well, the university provides employment. So currently for our international students, we don't provide employment, but maybe you will have chance to uh, have chance to go to other company and have time to exchange, okay? What can I know if I'm qualified to CSC? When is the qualifying interview? When can I know if, oh, okay. When can I know if I'm qualified? So for CSC, the deadline is on February 28th. So you, I would suggest that uh, if you are interested in applying CSC, you can upload your documents as soon as possible because it's the end of the year. Now it's December already, right? And we always need time for initial review. After initial review and your uh, academic review, we will send your documents to the Chinese government and then they will review as well. So uh, it might take some time, maybe it's going to be uh, June or July next, next, next year, okay? Where to upload? So I will, I will share, the, I've shared the application link, right? So here, here is the, the link that you can upload all your documents. This is our online application system. So if you want to apply for our university, please upload your documents and then uh, submit it to this online application system, okay? 
Okay, I think uh, this there is no other questions now, right? Okay, so uh, I think this is the end of today's introduction. And thank you again for Professor Liu to join us and give us this brilliant, uh, wonderful introduction, okay? And if any of you want to apply for School of Aerospace and Mechanics, you should uh, submit your application on our application system as soon as possible. And uh, we hope to see you next year. Okay, thank you, everyone. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, Professor Liu. Yeah. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Okay, so we will upload our uh, recording on our uh, social media as well. Uh, do you have aircraft maintenance engineering master degree? We do have a master degree in engineering, school of engineering, but I'm not quite sure. I, I don't think that we have this uh, specific aircraft maintenance. Uh, we have, we know, don't know this. Uh know this uh maintains yeah, yeah but we you can uh you can take a look on our uh programs in school of engineering okay okay so this the right. this is the end and thank you all okay thank you bye